Hello guys, how are y'all? It is Saturday. Um, it is now about 9 o'clock in the morning, but I woke up at 7. Ooh, look at these breakouts from my mask, guys. Look at this on both sides. But anywho, let me apologize right now for the up and close personal you're going to get with my breakout. I know it's scary, but I promise it won't come for you. Um, I woke up at 7. I did eventually go back to sleep yesterday after my little haul. Um, but I was up at 7. And I have to be at the school by 10 to pick up little dude's uh, science and math book. So I said, you know what, let's just go for it. I can always nap all weekend if I need to. So I came on outside to get a handle of what all is going on after the rain and it started sprinkling on me like literally right now it's just the lightest of sprinkles so that means that our 80 something degree weather today is going to be nasty hot and humid which sucks but i'm used to it so whatever but yeah it's pretty gross out here i don't mind rain i love the rain i even like mud when i'm playing in it with little dude but when you have to slosh around in it and do yard work in it and fix up mess it's ew and i know my little Tree limb uh, issues are nothing compared to what so many people around the country are going through right now with real storm damage. But it's just really icky. Um, and I gave up. Um, I had to come to a stopping point because it's getting late and the mosquitoes are really, really bad. I've been attacked by mosquitoes, by gangster ants, and I've walked into two giant spider webs and I ain't seen the spider. So for all I know, I may have a spider in my head. Yes, I'm still in my nightshirt, but I have shorts on. So I kind of tucked the nightshirt into the shorts. I am that neighbor. Okay, I'm that neighbor. Won't you be my neighbor? Y'all would love to be my neighbor. I'd be calling the cops on y'all all the time. Y'all making too much noise if y'all's yard is messy, if your dog is barking. <laughs> I'm her. But anyway, let me show you guys what's going on out here. And uh, I'm going to hightail myself inside, do a quick shower, and run over to Little Dude School and then see what else um, I can get myself into today. Real quick, some of you were asking what the purple heart ends up looking like, the purple heart that I cut back. And after all the days of rain, you guys, I'm not kidding you, I had cleared all of this. Had cleared all of it. And after three or four days of rain, look, they bloomed right back onto the sidewalk. But anywho, y'all were asking what they look like, the ones that I cut back and repot. This is what they look like. They're big and green and lush and they're very resistant to heat. They will freeze back in a frost and turn into this mushy, gushy, disgusting mess. So in the winter, this looks terrible, but they've perked up. Even where the doggies jacked up, they're trying to come back. Y'all see them? They're really hardy, real resistant. They're coming back there. So here is my little palm frondy. I don't know what this is. Look at my jalapeno. Look at my surviving big boy. Isn't he gorgeous? Ain't got no flowers on it. Ain't got no chilies on it. But look how big he is. Down here, I moved two of my little Christmas cactuses over here onto the concrete because if I leave them sitting in the wet dirt I know the little roots are gonna rot and they're trying to come back look guys y'all know what that is that's a lychee remember I planted those lychee seeds this one took nothing's happening here but look at that one I moved my aloes onto the concrete too because same reason um, I don't want the ground water to seep in and screw them up this guy right here was supposed to have gone inside and I would like to transition him inside, but he ended up just staying out here. This is the little other little palm thing that I want to set into the underwater plant stand that I put together last night. This is the little guy because this I actually had a real pretty metal pot to go in. Uh, my Ivy's still doing okay. She's, she's all right. Over here I have what I put out onto the patio because I had to get it out of the mud. These are all my little metal scrolly figures that I collect. There are three of them. I have two on the wall on the walkway and this one on the stand that I thrifted. Uh, this is the only thing that got knocked over in the rain. Well that and the lid to my um, little fire pit. But these guys were drowned and just knocked about. I had to go ahead and smooth out the soil and get them there. I still need a home for them. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. Uh, but that's that. 
I went ahead and moved my catch-all of my soil catch-all of the plants that I kill. I went ahead and moved it out of the spot that I had it next to my plants because there's nothing in it and it was full of water and making mosquitoes and I don't know what I want to do with it. I think I want to do potatoes. I want to try potatoes or sweet potatoes just because I like the foliage. Not necessarily trying to get food out of it, but hey, whatever. But I moved that on here and there's my little jalapeno that is struggling. I don't know if it's dead, guys. I don't know if it's too far gone. I just clipped off all the dead stuff and I'm babying it and I'm hoping that that might come back. Remember my little gazy ball in the stand? It survived. Uh, and it's directly under the tree that came down. Well, that had limbs come down, so I'm glad for that. My little fire pit has a little dent right here, but that's okay. I can hammer that out or whatever. Uh, this is the miracle of Storm 2020. My little burro, my little kitty. Remember these guys I, I uh, thrifted not too long ago? The limb fell right here, and it knocked over my little bumblebee, and it knocked her over. Uh, but none of these were touched. The table wasn't touched. They were knocked over. She was knocked over, but nothing broke. I was like, whoa, that's cool. So here is all that's left of the last limb. I went ahead and cleared the ones that had broke off over here. Those are already in a box and on the side of the house. But this is what's left. This one was the biggest one, and it doesn't look very thick. But as you come down a little further, it does get a little thicker. Too thick for the tools I have, so I'm going to wait for my yard guy to come and chop it up for me. And then we'll put it in a box and toss it. But let me show you the thorns I'm talking about on these things. Look at this. Every little shoot, every little branch that comes off of the limb is covered in these. These are so freaking painful. When they sting you, they burn for hours. And we've stepped on them, guys, like literally stepped on them where we have to pull them out of our feet. Now, for a diabetic, that ain't good. Went ahead and got my soil out so I can repot my little plants that I have sitting in the kitchen. And uh, once I get back from school and uh, Home Depot, I'll come back out here if it's not too, too bad and the mosquitoes aren't trying to kill me. Y'all remember this little guy from the bins? He has made a place on the fence. Yes, he has a home. That's what I do on my fence. Ain't nothing fancy. Look, little twig. Y'all see that twig? Came over here. But, um, they're keeping my little avocados company. Look at him. Anywho, let me go inside because the mosquitoes are killing me. This is what I've been after. I got mine at Walmart for $9, but they're out, and theirs are $21.98. I don't know if I want one that bad, but I really like these. You guys, I love Home Depot. I love the plants. I love the smell of the lumber. I love all the tools and gadgetry. I love it. I'm going to dig around in here and relax in this little garden in the middle of the city. <laughs> Here are the purple hearts, actually purple. Only a few of mine have started turning purple, but look at them. Look at them. Purple is my favorite color, so I look forward every year that they'd grow in purple, but green is nice. Look at these tiger eyes. Oh, they're so pretty. But two minutes with me and all the petals would fall off. Here is some sweet potato I can get started in that pot. I love these. Such a pretty plant. I could start off in either the little bucket that I, um, that little pink bucket that I pulled out of the bins or in the big galvanized bucket. They're so pretty. They're only 328, so even just a handful would make a pretty little pot.
Hello. I just left Home Depot where I went in to try and find those square plastic liners for the little um, the little trunk that I want to plant my asparagus fern in and they didn't have any. They had round ones but I didn't want to have to work to make it fit. I just wanted it to fit and I should have left but didn't and walked out of there with some stuff. So I'm going to show you guys that here in a little bit. But I came on over to Dollar Tree because I need more gardening gloves. The ones that I usually wear were in a pot full of water this morning and I ain't about to stick my hands in a wet squishiness. Um, I need gloves because of the loose little limbs that are still out in the backyard with those thorns on them. I mean, the Dollar Tree gloves aren't going to protect me from the thorns themselves, but it'll help with the smaller limbs just in case I get nicked a little bit. Um, but I'm going to walk in here and see what they got going on. It's only 1031. This is around the time I'm usually getting up on a Saturday, so I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with myself for the rest of the day. I was going to go to 99 Cent Only and check out their produce and stuff, but that's more of a Sunday thing for me. So let's go on into Dollar Tree and see what they got going on. They got their pretty little fall stuff out. I was hoping I'd find some of those little basket things for my plant pot, but... I guess they've transitioned out to this stuff. Hmm. I wonder if I could use something like this in the pot. Or maybe just like a plastic Tupperware type dish. I'm gonna keep looking. You guys, look at these piggies. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, but even better than that, even better than that. Look. And they're white and shiny and pretty. Y'all know how tempted I am to get these, but I have nowhere to put them. So cute. Look at these little heads. You could stick a little succulent in there or a little running ivy and it would look like a nice little quaff. Cute. Scrolling through. See if there's anything new that I haven't picked up yet. But it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like at all. Look at that. It holds your nail polish. Silicone facial mask applicator. And that's cool for you ladies who like to do that stuff. This is new. The flower brand, um eyeliner but the color is only an aubergine who wants a purple eyeliner but flower is drew barrymore's brand i love her body sprays those are really nice they have an elf eyeliner i don't need any of that but i always have to go through here just in case look at these those are so pretty hot chocolate with cream on top and then they have these big old margarita glasses. These big old beer steins. I have some of these. Got your nice water goblets. You gotta love Dollar Tree. You gotta. Look at this. A glass with recipes for drinks. Very cute. This is a pretty little pattern. That's nice. It's really pretty. The little bowls too. Look at these Adams Family-esque creepy crawly hands. They're candle holders. I'm not even trying to go deep into the Halloween stuff because I know I'll get in trouble and it's just too early. Okay. I'm home. It's creeping up on 12 o'clock. It's 11.45, so I did cut off my little trip short because your girl had to go pee-pee. And as much as I didn't want to go tingle in the Dollar Tree bathrooms, because usually they're like really gross, like you think you're walking into the portal of death, um, when you gotta go, you gotta go. But they were out of order, so I'm like, oh my gosh, are you stinking kidding me? I had already drank a bottle of water before I went to pick up little dude's books and then coming out the home depot i slammed down a big old power aid so i'm 47 years old i've had two kids and 
I'm diabetic, so your bladder ain't nothing you play with. So I'm thinking, maybe if I go to 99 cent only, I can do what I gotta do there and then shop around, look around, see what's going on there. But home was closer than 99 cent only, so I just came home. But um, since I'm here, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up so far on my outings today. I don't think I'm going anywhere else today. I wanted to go across the street to the Little Mexican Grocery Store and I wanted to go to Price Saver, Cash Saver, whatever that grocery store is where I find those awesome fruits at um, to see if they had neck bones because yes, as much as I complained about them, I really, really want some. But I had to come home. So I might go out later and look for that. I'm not sure. I'm getting sleepy. I'm telling y'all, I used to being up this early on a Saturday. But uh, let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. I think I'm going to attempt some polishing before my little nap. I might include that in this video because my phone, again, is acting stupid in regards to memory. Um, but let me show you guys what I got at the Home Depot. At the Home Depot, I picked up another bag of um, potting soil. It's in the trunk. And I picked up this big bag of white drainage rocks because a lot of you guys have suggested and it totally makes sense. And I want to do better by my plants to put stones on the bottom of pots that don't have drain holes. Uh, and some pots I've tried to make drain holes in and I crack the bottom like real ugly. So I went ahead and bought a bag of drainage rocks regular rocks. So it was only four dollars and some cents, but god dang it, they were heavy. But uh, I have that in the trunk as well because I don't want to wrestle with it. If I tried to wrestle with it on the way in, we were going to have an accident of Niagara Fall proportion with me having to go potty. But anywho, I grabbed some, no, and he's trying to eat them. I grabbed some sweet potato vines. This one had two little shoots growing out of it, like trailing out. No, this is not a buffet. This is not a salad bar, Aussie. Had two little extra shoots on here growing out, and I thought, oh, that's gonna be pretty planted already hanging. I got really excited because they were only three twenty-eight, And then when I put them in the car, the two little hangings snapped off. So, uh, they were pretty wilted in the little bit of time that it took me to set you guys up right here. Uh, they've already perked up some just by putting them in the water. So I'm going to go ahead and see if they root, see if they make a little root. And if they root on their own, then I'll stick them in a little pot and go from there. But I got one, two, three, and the poor little guys are ready to be repotted. Look at this. Look at this. So I'm going to do them a solid and repot those. Uh, very, very soon. There's a little snail shell in here. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was a snail. Is it? Yep, yeah, it's a little snail shell. I'm bringing in critters. But anywho, uh, that's all I got there. The rocks, the soil, and those guys, and my Powerade. Then Dollar Tree, I found some socks I could not resist. <laughs> I have a feeling little dude is going to steal these from me. Maybe not because they're pink and purple, but I know he loves skulls. So I got these for me because y'all know I'm a sock fiend. I did go ahead and get this. I When I do my nails, I'm sitting at the table. It's rare that I'm in bed watching TV or whatever, but I just thought this was a really neat little contraption. So I bought it. We're going to give that a shot. I could not resist this lipstick. It took me back to junior high, pink frost. I used to line my lips with a darker pink liner and then fill in with a pink frost and it was really, really pretty. It was really 80s-esque teen movie. And I found a slightly darker uh, gel lip liner. So we're gonna give that a try, okay? We're gonna try it. It looks lighter, but it's not. It's actually darker than the lipstick. We're going to give that a try. We're going to play around. Now, I tried to stay away from the Halloween, and uh, but I came across these, and I don't have these for my skeletal collection. So I grabbed two of these for my decorating for Halloween, and I stayed away from the rest. I could not find a liner for the, the um, little trunk that I want to plant my fern in. So I got this. I'm going to put a few little rocks on the bottom. I'm going to fill it up with soil and I'm going to stick my plant in there. I hope it has enough room to root and to grow a little bigger. Um, it looks like it's going to fit. I haven't tried it, but uh, at least this I can smoosh in a little if I need to push it in there. I just don't want to ruin the little trunk. I don't. 
the only few other little things I picked up were these uh, shoe liners because I thought I had a pair in my little thrifty bag and I found this really awesome little pair of boots at the bins but I wasn't going to try them on without my little socks on and I couldn't find them in the bag. So I grabbed a new set for my bag. I went ahead and we're going to try this Arm & Hammer Arm & Hammer, Arm & Hammer Essentials Body Wash. I'm in a rush because my phone is beeping at me that my memory is almost full. Ugh, I need a camera, guys. Anyway, it smells really, really fresh and clean, so I got that. And I got some bottled waters for the refrigerator. Even though we have the water dispensary thing here, uh, sometimes we get too much, we get too little, whatever. A bottle you can sip out of, close up, and save for later if you need to. And I did forget to show you guys this little thing that I picked up at Home Depot. It is a plant prop for my jalapeno. I don't know if it's Jose or Julio, but I don't want it leaning on that big old trellisy thing, so I'm gonna go put this in this little pot and save them there. But I'm gonna have to do everything else that I wanted to do today um, on a separate video. Um, I hope you guys aren't getting sick of my little pop-ups, but my camera on my phone is just not supporting any more video. So till I see you guys again, either today or tomorrow. I hope you guys have a good day. I'm gonna go straighten up a little and see if I can take a nap. Love y'all bunches. Bye.